What's up, YouTube? Um, all right, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to show you um, some of my BIOS settings um, for overclocking the, uh, the Q6600 on an MSI P45 Platinum. <clears throat> I'm just going to restart it now so I can show you. Um, this is probably one of the easiest motherboards I've ever had to use for overclocking. Um, it's it, they make things very very simple, and uh, um, I'll show you how how I did it anyway. All right, um, here's the regular BIOS um, for the MSI P45 Platinum. Um, to start the overclocking, I'm going to go over to the cell menu, and in here you have the multi-step overclock booster. Um, default is disabled, but if you want to overclock, you need to set it to at least mode one. Um, the dynamic um, overtime control, um, you want to disable that. Um, the Intel EIST, um, you want to disable that also, so that way that will give you um, access to adjusting the CPU ratio. Otherwise, it kind of locks you out. Um, to adju uh, ad adjust the CPU front side bus frequency, um, I have mine set to 400 um, times 8 which gives me 3.2 gigahertz. Um, if I go down a little bit further, um, I go into my RAM configuration. So I'll go in here, and I had to set my RAM to um, 44412, those which are the timings that came stock with mine. Um, you don't have to touch anything else in here. Um, I think when I first plugged in the RAM, it defaulted to 55515 but it's not a big deal, you can come in, it's real easy to change. Um, everything else I left on auto, enhanced settings, Northbridge drive configuration, um, front side bus to DRAM ratio. Um, I left on auto, it gives me a one to one ratio. If I leave it on auto, I could manually go in and change it. Um, but it, it doesn't make much difference. Um, the only way I'd want to do that is if I was overclocking to a kind of like a weird frequency on the front side bus where I would have to kind of uh, adjust that manually. So I left that on auto. Um, if I go down a little bit further, um, the clock gen tuner and things like that, I didn't have to play with any of this because um, I didn't have any un um, instability with overclocking, so it I, I haven't had to touch any of that. Uh, the CPU voltage for uh, at 3.2 gigahertz is 1.32 is what I used. Um, also, I should note uh, that the 6600 that I have, the vid on it is um, 1.3, so it's not the best uh, vid for those for the um, the Q6600s, uh, the Go series or the Stepping Go, uh, the the Go Stepping. Um, but it is uh, it, it. I haven't had any problems. I mean, I've been able to get it up to 3.6 without any problems, and um, you know, I can show you that. Um, and the only other thing I had to adjust was uh, I had to go down to the DRAM voltage, which is uh, your memory voltage. I'll go down a little bit further just to show the whole. Um, 1.9, which, uh, which is what my uh, RAM sets to, or I had to go in and manually set it to that. Um, but that's what the, uh, the voltage that comes with my RAM, or what I should set it to. Uh, when I did overclock my RAM to about 900, I did bump it up to about uh, 2.0 volts just to be sure and uh, you know be safe. Um, everything else I haven't had to ch um, change at all. Uh, everything's just been on auto, and I haven't had any instabilities. If I was something was unstable, then I'd go in and I would start messing around with these. But um, this this motherboard takes care of it all for you. Some motherboards overvolt. This one I've noticed that it has not overvolted anything. Everything is where it should be. When I've double checked everything, the MCH voltage, everything like that, it's all set to uh, what it should be. And the last thing is uh, the spread spectrum. Um, you want to disable that because that sends, um, you know, spikes through your CPU sometimes, and it can uh, um, it can cause some instability also. So, those are my BIOS settings for uh, 3.2 gigahertz. Um, if you want, I can show you, uh, it's real easy to set it to 3.6. You go down to adjust your CPU ratio. 
you change it to times nine and boom you got 3.6 gigahertz only other thing you need to change um, is your voltage my voltage I have to go to 1.49 in order to get be stable at uh, 3.6 um, I don't keep it at 3.6 because I have not noticed a huge difference um, or any difference at all um, gaming wise which is what I mostly do so having it at that voltage and the heat's not bad but at that voltage I don't like running it at 24 7 um, Intel says the max safe voltage is 1.5 but you know that's I mean you're you know you're kinda of pushing things so um, so I keep it at 3.2 for gaming and uh, you know it's it, it's really really simple um, a lot of people have problems uh, I think it's more motherboard related uh, mine is a you know like I said it's the the vid on is a 1.3 so you know every chip is different every motherboard is different um, this is how I was able to get mine as you can see it was extremely simple extremely easy um, it's been it was prime stable or prime 95 stable for 24 hours um, at 3.6 it was prime stable at 3.2 um, it was stable um, I had my front side bus up at uh, 440 and it was like 3.5 gigahertz I uh, had that state I mean it's just it's it's an unbelievable overclocker and um, this mother that you know the chip is is a uh, an unbeatable chip it's for what what I paid and the performance it gives you is just unbelievable so that's my uh, that's my BIOS that I had to set things to as you can see it was really simple and uh, you know I hope it helped and, uh, you know, stay tuned. I'll post another video. All right. Thanks for watching.